He said, my hand shall be established with him. In other words, God says, when I pour my holy oil on him, my hand will then begin to exhibit and demonstrate through his, through him. He'll be an extension. Wow. When he lays his hands on the sick, they'll get healed. Somebody shout, get your own oil. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. When he touches the demon possessed, the demons will be leaving while they're screaming. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, that's the kind of power the church needs again. You got to get your own oil. David didn't have a mass choir around, but he was a worshiper. Come on, somebody. He didn't have no prophet around to prophesy to him, but he would sing in the spirit and prophesy. Hallelujah. And he was killing lions and bears because God anointed him. He was slaying giants. Somebody shout, all by himself. He, didn't, he couldn't find nobody to help him. Half the time, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when the Philistines found out he was anointed in 2 Samuel 5, they wanted to find what cave he lived in because they wanted to kill it. Because they thought, my God, we don't need an anointed vessel. The devil can't handle it. Oh, he'll, he'll mess up everything. And so here he is. God said, my hand will operate through him. And then he says, in my right arm, glory to God, will I use him. In other words, God says, my hand and my arm shall be displayed through him. The arm of God and the hand of God is nothing but a representation of the power of God. Do you want his power? If you do, forget about that chicken that you think's already resurrected from whatever oven you planning on eating after church. Forget about all that stuff. I can't, it's amazing in America, you can't even preach where God wants to take you. I can see it in your spirit, some of you. Come on, I can't even concentrate on preaching because you're thinking about leaving. There's the door. There's one back there. There's one right there. Help yourself. If all you got is all you want, keep what you got and get out. But to the rest of us that wants the power of God, we got to have his arm. People ain't going to get saved because you so talented. Oh, Brother Marvin, you could get their attention. You can just talk. Most people I see get saved is after I've done something strange while I'm preaching. Because God chooses the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe, 1 Corinthians 1, 21. Hello, somebody. It ain't the intellectual and the elite and educated speech. Matter of fact, Acts 4, 13 Pharisees looked at the apostles and says, they're ignorant and unlearned. We take knowledge. They've been with Jesus. How in the world do they have all this? How can they have this wisdom and this understanding? They ain't been trained. Moses weren't trained to pick a snake up by the tail. And if you ain't trained to pick a snake up by the tail, you're going to get bit. Hello? You pick this snake up by the tail. Because this is the most dangerous thing, and he bought you, you'd be dead ten times over. Hello, come on, somebody. Hello, most deadly snake in the world. Come on. People don't pick snakes up about it. If you got any sense, you don't pick them up unless they're dead anyhow. But you got to be trained how to pick up snakes by the tail successfully. Hello? Amen. In Exodus 4, when Moses picked up the snake by the tail and it turned into a rod, this was after he'd done run from that thing. Now, I can feel Moses right there. I can, I can you know, connect with him right there. Because this weren't just any snake. This was a cobra. This was a viper when you study it out. Same thing that bit Paul in Acts 28 that he shook off in the fire because he was anointed and walked around like nothing happened. Somebody shout, if you're anointed enough, you can get bit by snakes and still walk on. Now, I ain't just talking about real snakes. I'm talking about in the spirit. Even real spirit snakes. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Amen. But, but, but listen here. Hallelujah. Amen. Moses ran from it to begin with. Now he's picking it up. Somebody shout, he wasn't trained to pick that snake up, but he picked him up. I'm telling you what, when God anoints you, you can do things that even trained people can't do. Professionals built the Titanic. An amateur that was anointed built the ark. Study your history. See the outcome. 
I'd take the anointing any day. 